Hello guys, today you are joining me with the unboxing of the Boss Armor AR1500M monoblock amplifier. I ordered this from Amazon for about 100 Canadian dollars which is a really good price for an amplifier which could put out a peak power output of 1500 watts. This amplifier has only one output which means it cannot give out a stereo audio signal as it is specifically built only for powering up subwoofers. This amplifier comes with a special subwoofer control where you can adjust the bass levels right from the driver's seat. This amplifier is a monoblock amplifier which gives only a mono output. It's a class AB amplifier and has the advanced MOSFET power supply. It supports both high and low level inputs. This amp can produce up to 1500 watts of peak power at 2 ohms of impedance and 700 watts of peak power at 4 ohms. It also has a manual crossover frequency adjustment from 35Hz to 160Hz and also has a bass boost feature. Let's go ahead and unwrap the Boss Armor 1500M amplifier. As soon as you open up the box, you can see the small package which contains the user's manual and all the other brochures nicely sealed in a polythene bag. The user's manual which is included gives us an overall understanding about the operation of the amplifier and its full features. You can also find a detailed comparison between the Boss Armor series amplifiers and as you see the AR1500M is the lowest end model of the monoblock M series amplifiers manufactured by Boss Audio Systems. All Boss Audio amplifiers come with a 1 year warranty covering any defects of the product at the sole discretion of the manufacturer. You can also extend the warranty of the product by 5 years if you install the system through an authorized dealer. The package also contains a Boss Audio car sticker and some other brochures. Let's go ahead and take the amplifier out. On either sides of the packaging, you can find the extension cord for the remote subwoofer level control knob, the wiring harness for the high sound level input port, a few screws to mount the amplifier and an extra fuse. The remote subwoofer control knob can also be found. The feel of this unit is absolutely solid and the finish of the product looks amazingly good, especially the Boss Armor logo which adds more color to it. The entire top aluminum housing acts as the heat transferring element which helps to keep the amplifier cool when providing higher wattage outputs. On the side we've got the port for the bass volume control knob, the bass boost switch, the crossover frequency control where you can adjust the frequency to fine tune the sound output, the low pass and high pass filter switch to adjust the frequency sensitivity of the amplifier, the amp gain control knob to control the volume gain of the subwoofer, the input voltage sensitivity switch, the left and right channel low voltage input where you connect the preamp outputs of the radio too. And finally, the high voltage input where you can actually connect the speaker wires to the amplifier directly. The Boss Armor 1500M also has a power protection feature with an LED indicator where the amplifier automatically shuts down at higher temperatures and due to any other voltage problems. When looking at the other side, we have the speaker wire connection terminals where you connect to your subwoofer too, a voltage surge safety fuse, 
the positive battery terminal connection where you directly wire it to the positive terminal of the battery. The remote power on terminal which gets connected to your stereo system to soft turn on the amplifier when the radio is turned on and the ground wire terminal where you connect to any bare metal of the car. That concludes the unboxing of the Boss Armor AR1500M monoblock amplifier. Hope it was informative and see you soon with another video. Take care.